Are you tired of the daily grind? Then cut the cord with the rigid four and a half inch octane grinder. More details on this when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson and you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Rigid R86042 and it's their four and a half inch octane angle grinder. Now what does octane mean? That tells you right away it's a brushless motor. It's also going to work well in conjunction with their octane batteries. Now you don't have to run the octane batteries in here. Any rigid 18 volt slide pack battery is going to power this tool so you don't have to worry about that if you already have batteries. Now the octane batteries are going to give you some additional features such as being able to lock it out uh, using a Bluetooth app, being able to see how many charges have been on it, also seeing the state of the charge, the temperature, uh, things like that. So you can kind of keep track of your batteries. You can even turn them off if you're concerned about uh, theft or things like that. You can actually lock the battery out so it doesn't actually power a tool. So some cool features with the Octane battery. That's also the newest technology as far as cells are concerned. So you're going to get a little better runtime as well as power and performance out of an Octane battery. Now, the tool itself comes bare tool without a battery. So $119 from the Home Depot. Pretty cheap tool for as far as a cordless angle grinder is concerned. Uh, so you will have to actually buy a battery pack. I would recommend if you're buying batteries for this to at least go to a 6.0 battery. Minimum would be a 5 amp hour battery. Anything lower than that, you're just not going to be happy with the runtime. We'll get into that more in just one moment. Uh, some typical features on this as, a, as, as grinders would have it or as, as you're used to with four and a half inch grinders is you get an auxiliary handle here that is ambidextrous if you will. You can go left or right on it. However, Rigid does add a top mount as well. So if you actually want to put the handle on top and do some more kind of uh, top down cutting if you will, you can do that. Also a tool free guard here. So changing this guard is easy as just pushing this detent here and turning that guard to wherever you need to uh, on the tool, whether you're doing some kind of right hand, left hand, uh, over the top, what have you. Easy to make changes there. Spindle lock here, so actually push this down on the top. It's going to lock out your spindle so you can change your wheels if you need to. Uh, use your spanner wrench is included if you need to, what have you. But you can change your wheels that way. Uh, the actual spanner on here or the retaining nut, if you will, is a two-sided. So depending on what type of wheel you're running on here, like this grinder here, we're going to actually you know, use the side here that's actually going to take up some of that space. Uh, whereas if you were cutting it with a, uh, using a thin disc for cutting, then you would actually flip that retaining nut over and use that flat side of the retaining nut. So it is a two-sided retaining nut. Some, uh, some grinders have an actual retaining nut that, that works on one side with any of your, whether it's thin or, or thick wheel. So again, not a big deal. Um, now one thing on this tool that I would prefer otherwise, it, it does have a slide lock on it or slide on off switch uh, where you slide that up, turn it on, push it down just to, uh, to release it or turn it off. I like to see a paddle switch. I'm just kind of a paddle switch type of guy. So typically you'll see grinders that's either a slide lock as you see here or has the paddle switch. I wish they had this tool in a paddle, but again, personal preference is all that is. Also, what you get down here uh, to protect that brushless motor inside is you get a nice uh, metal mesh guard here. So when you're, when you're grinding, you're going to have a lot of debris, a lot of metal dust that's flying around, uh, a lot of shrapnel, if you will. And this, this mesh is going to keep this out of here. Also, you can easily take that off, blow that out with your air tool and be back into business where that's breathing really well. Now as far as performance on this tool, I was really impressed with the Rigid Octane Grinder. In fact, it's something that will stay in my shop. I love to use cordless angle grinders. Now, a lot of my jobs aren't big jobs. I'm doing small fabrication stuff, I'm doing automotive stuff, so I'm not doing a lot of longevity, if you will, because if you're grinding a lot of, say you were putting a, a bevel on a piece of half inch plate, you know, 20, 30 feet, you're going to go through several batteries doing that. So if you're doing heavy fabrication, it's probably not the tool for you. However, still probably belongs in your toolbox because it is great for whether it's a punch list item or whether it's a smaller project. I love not having the cord on my angle grinder and the rigid octane is one that actually lays down the power. So I believe I'm getting the power that I do out of my 15 amp uh, corded 
four and a half inch grinder when I'm picking up this tool. And let me tell you where Rigid takes this a little further than others, and I really, really like this feature. Very simplistic feature, but I haven't seen it on any of, any of the other tools. Uh, but you have an LED light right here that lights up uh, if it's going to like an overload protection. So let's say you're really bearing down on this tool. Most other battery powered grinders, they'll just stop. They'll go into overload and they'll just stop and you have to either reset the switch or wait a few seconds and restart it, what have you. The rigid actually goes into a flashing red light so it lets you know, hey, you're entering kind of that overload protection and if you keep it there, you bind it too much, it will stop. But if you just back off a little bit, which happens several times with me, it'll keep going. So that's a little frustration point with a lot of, uh, a lot of people that are using cordless grinders is that overload and not knowing when it's entering. So with this, it kind of gives you that warning. You can see it, whether it's out of the corner out of your eye or whether you're looking at it, you see that flash and right away you can back off a little bit and keep it from going in that overload protection. So power wise, I'm real happy with this tool. Um, Another pro tip, if you will, if you're going to a cordless grinder, I would say it's even more important to get accessories and wheels that are going to perform very well. So, I mean, Rigid includes this grinding wheel, that's great. For your odd jobs and things, that's great. But if you're really wanting to step up performance, go to a nice flat disc, you know, get you a 40 grit flat disc. Uh, this is a Walter unit. Uh, really good products, but spend some money on the accessories because you're gonna be happier with the performance you get and you're gonna lengthen the runtime because the wheel's working better for you. Same with a cutoff disc. Don't buy the cheapest disc there. Uh, get you, you know, whether it's a Diablo or a, a Matabo or somebody that actually knows metal cutting, Walter's another one, um, Empire Abrasive, what have you, but get you a good cutoff wheel that works well, get you a good grinding disc, a good flat disc that's gonna remove material without spending a lot of time on it, and that's going to save you time. It's also gonna save you frustration, especially when you're stepping to a cordless grinder. So, is the cordless grinder replacing the corded grinder? No way, not right now. Is it replacing it for those odd jobs, small jobs, uh, things like that? Absolutely, I will say that I pick up a cordless grinder more often than I do a corded, again, my jobs are a lot smaller. I'm working on a lot of automotive stuff, making a few cuts here and there, removing some paints here and there. Uh, but I definitely love not having that cord draped over my shoulder or what have you. Check out the Rigid R86042. Again, it's their Octane 4.5 inch angle grinder. It's only 119 bucks for the bare tool. Now, I will say if you don't have the Rigid platform and you're having to buy Rigid batteries, you know, uh, two six amp hour batteries, I think it's gonna cost you somewhere 170 to 200 bucks, and then if you're having to buy a charger, so it's not gonna be cheap. Um, but again, I highly recommend you buying a six amp hour or higher. You can get also a nine amp hour, um, but minimum would be five amp hour on these because otherwise you're not gonna be happy using this tool with a three amp hour battery or a slim pack or anything like that. But make sure you check it out from the Home Depot. Also, please keep track of us on all our social media channels from Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Please hit that like and subscribe button. If you like this video, stay classy.